Christian, I've heard accountants talk about net income. What's the difference, or is there a difference, between net income and comprehensive income? Becky, there is a difference. The difference has to do with net income reflecting realized gains and losses, and comprehensive income, for the most part, reflecting unrealized gains and losses. Uh, as we've moved to more fair value measurement, uh, we're recognizing in our financial statements now more unrealized gains and losses. Some years ago, FASB decided they had to determine where to put these unrealized gains and losses. And certainly they could have decided to put them in that income, but they chose not to. They chose to put them in a separate bucket, so to speak, called comprehensive income that can be presented along with net income or it can be presented in a separate presentation to capture the unrealized gains and losses that have taken place during the reporting period. Oh, we didn't talk about accounting for financial instruments or about pension accounting on today's program, but those joint projects could affect and possibly increase the items that are reported in other comprehensive income, couldn't they? Yes, Becky, they can, but the reason they can is because in both issues, financial instruments and pension accounting, we're talking about a fair value measurement and the fair value measurements uh, are in a number of different accounting topics these days. In fact, uh, if, you, if you do a close look at the FASB codification, you find fair value referenced in about 60 different areas. So there's going to be uh, fair value measurements that then cause an unrealized gain or loss to take place until such time as they dispose of the asset or dispose of the liability. So uh, yes, pensions will be affected, yes, financial instruments, but uh, it's a variety of different areas, including things such as asset impairments and goodwill impairments and trouble debt restructurings and a whole array of areas where due to having to apply fair value, you end up having a potential result of an unrealized gain or loss. FASB decided to put that into comprehensive income.